Hello, my marvelous muses. How are we doing, guys? So tonight is a Christmas in July collaboration with Tracy at Mini Scenes GB. Um, I will put the link to uh, everything in my description box below. Uh, this is a Christmas in July 2024 collaboration. Uh, thanks to Tracy for taking this over. We really appreciate her for doing this. And uh, be sure and go check out all the other videos. We're going to be doing a Christmas tumbler. So what I have done is I have spray painted part of this tumbler white. And I put a little bit of gold glitter on it. As soon as this white is dry, I'm going to come in. I have cut out a Christmas ornament shape. And I'm going to put it on here. And then I'm going to spray the rest of the tumbler black. I'm then going to bring you back and we're going to tack it over and over again. Everywhere but where this is. Where this decal is at. And uh, we're going to glitter it afterwards. I've got some really pretty Christmas glitter. We're going to glitter it. And then uh, I, we're going to give it a clear coat after that. We're going to pull the vinyl off. And then we are going to... Uh, I've got some Christmas vinyl that we're going to put on and a decal. So I'll show you guys more of it when we get inside. But for now, as soon as this dries, I'm going to put this on here. Just like so. I'm going to cover that up. And we're going to paint, I'm going to paint the rest of the tumbler black. And then we'll be back. Hello, my marvelous muses. How are we doing, guys? We are back. Um, so I put the vinyl on here. I gave this all a coat of black. And I'm going to come in with my tacket over and over. And I'm going to brush the whole thing with the tacket. This piece is trying to pull up. But as long as it stays down long enough for me to put the glitter on. And spray some clear sealer on it. I'm fine because this is coming off immediately after that. We're going to throw it on the turner. We're going to give it a coat of resin. And then we're going to come back. And I'm going to use. This is the glitter that I'm going to use. And it's got a bunch of different colored little stars. And stuff like that. It's kind of a thicker glitter. Chunkier glitter. But I've also got a smaller version. Uh, I've also got some of this. This is. The jar is kind of yellow. But this is a similar color. But it's small, smaller. And we're going to put that on it. And like I said, I'm going to give it a clear coat to set the glitter so it doesn't travel when I put the resin on. And then I have some vinyl that we're going to cut. Pull it out here. And we're going to cut the vinyl here. We're going to cut it this way. And I'm going to cut sections. And we're going to have glitter, a strip of vinyl. Glitter, a strip of vinyl. Glitter, a strip of vinyl. And where this is, we're going to put Winter Wishes. So, that's my plan. That's my plan, guys. So, I am going to brush on this tacket. Let me just brush this all over the tumbler here. I'm actually going to get a bigger brush, and I'll get this brushed on. I'm going to give it two coats, and I'll come back when it's time to put the glitter on. Okay, guys, we're ready to pour some glitter on here. So, I'm going to start with these stars, because the vinyl I have has a bunch of little miscellaneous stars on it. I don't want a lot of these, so this is going to be kind of tricky. Okay. Ah, come on. 
Well, we got a big chunk there. That's all right. We can cover it up with some vinyl. There's a section that's got too much. I'll do a little bit more up here. All right. So now we're going to take some of this. Okay. Oops, sorry guys. Okay. And now we're going to do this fine gold. Now we're going to kind of pat it down here. Give it a light brush in here. Make sure everything's kind of nothing like major sticking up here. up here all right what do we think guys beautiful I'm gonna give it a coat of clear coat over the top before we peel this off and glitter it so I'll bring you back after I give it a clear coat. Alright guys, we're back. So I gave this a coat. Uh, some of my glitter traveled down, but I'm not too worried about it because it's going to be fine once I put the decal on still. In fact, it'll look good behind it. Uh, but what I'm doing is, what I, what I did, is I cut these lengthwise in strips. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one out of the way right quick here i got a couple things in my way there we go so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this one on right here just like so and then i'm going to spin it i'm going to give it leave it a little bit of space here in between and we're going to come around when we get a little closer to this side and we're going to do the same thing right here just like so so we're gonna have the Christmas stripes along the way here there we go That's all right so we're gonna take this piece off and this is a pattern that came from uh, Ray at Ray's turquoise turtle she sent it to me it is from Butterfly Lane Designs. They have so many cool vinyls and so many cool things. I'm like, wow. Every time I see them, I'm like, every time I watch her do an unboxing, I'm thinking about getting the subscription box just because I really love their vinyls. All right. 
We are going to pull this just like so. Don't want that on there like that. Pull it up. All right. Perfect. Nope. Bubble here. We got a bubble here. Okay, where's my little squeegee here right quick, guys? Oh, here it is. bubble here. Got a bubble right here. Bring it back. There we go. Got this side now. Now if I can get this side good. There we go. Got one little spot right here. Poke a hole here. Poke a hole. Push out the. Anytime you get a little bubble like this, you can. There we go. There it is. Poke a hole, so you can push the air out. There we go. Oh, that's pretty. Very pretty. I need to trim a little bit off the bottom, but I have my trimmer. So I can trim that. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. Okay. Now we're going to come around here. We're going to do the same thing right here. Just like so. Yeah. I'm going to leave some of our glittery area showing. Okay, so we're going to pull. How are we doing, guys? Are y'all enjoying the Christmas in July videos? so much for me to get motivated for this so much like I can't get motivated for Christmas I struggle to get motivated when it comes to Christmas even just not what it used to be
it used to be a bigger thing. Of course, I didn't start promoting it years ago until at least Halloween, you know. You weren't getting Christmas decorations in the stores in September. But when I worked at Hobby Lobby, we would get Christmas decorations in legitimately. We would get the trees in in July. And they'd put them upstairs in the warehouse area of the store. It was like, yeah. So by the time November, December hit, we were already sick of Christmas. <laughs> we did not want Christmas to be here. Oh, that one went on perfect. No bubbles nowhere. No bubbles nowhere. There we go. What do you think, guys? I like that. That's a pretty vinyl. And it goes good, I think, with my glitter here. Now, I think I want to put the decal on now. I was going to wait till I put one more coat on. Hmm. Yeah, I may wait. I may do one more coat, and then we'll do the decal when we come back for the next coat. We'll put it on. Come in and give it two more coats after that. So, uh, I'm going to trim this bottom here just a little bit with my trimmer. Uh, it's hard to put my trimmer in the view. Let me show you it right quick so you can see it. Do you know what I'm talking about? Knocking things off, guys. This is my trimmer. And you set your cup on it, and there's a razor blade in here. You can adjust the height that you want it to be, how, how much you want to cut off. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it right there. I've got it at a quarter inch right now. Actually, I might do an eighth of an inch. Let's lower it down to eight here. Okay. So I'm going to lower it down to an eighth of an inch. I'm going to trim an eighth of an inch off the bottom here. And then I'm going to put it on and give it a coat of resin. And we'll be back for the next step. See you then, guys. Bye. Guys, we're back. So I did go in and I cut out an, uh, one of the poinsettias. The little bunch. And I stuck it underneath here. Oops, there we go. I stuck it right there. I also took my gold paint pen. And I drew... The little piece at the top of the ornament and then I just went around the edge of the ornament with it I did not go around the edge of this just the ornament itself and then on the very bottom I did another point instead of cut out so uh, yeah so now we're gonna put the sticker on and then I'm gonna give it some more resin All right, I need it cropped up a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. There we go. All right. What we're going to do is just make sure we get this one on right. Because I don't want to be pulling it up over and over again. I'm going to cut off a little piece here on the end. And then I'm going to put it back on briefly. Until I get it kind of positioned where I want it. Take this piece back off. If I can get it off now. Okay, come on. Let's 
stand up here so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Winter wishes. Very pretty. So now I'm going to take it back over on the turner. See what we got so far. And I'm going to mix in a, mix another coat of glitter. I mean another coat of resin. And I'm going to put just a tiny bit of this in with it this time. And then I will bring you back for the final coat. Because I'm going to give it at least one more. Maybe two. So I'll bring you back for the next coat. And let you see, I mean, I'm putting resin on it, so it's not a big deal. You've seen me do it on several others. But just in case there's somebody new to the channel with all of the new videos, uh, I am going to go ahead and show you how I put the resin on. So, my Christmas tumbler here. All right, we'll be back in a little bit, guys. Hey, we are back. So, I'm fixing to mix up my resin, and we're going to give this its final coat, and then uh, we'll be back at the end after I... Take it out and I'll clean the edges up, put the lid on it, and show you what it looks like all done. So let me mix up my resin. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. So I'm going to pour my resin on here. And what I do when I do the resin is I start here at the bottom. And I only go up. I don't go backwards. Because if you go to the very top and then you come back... You can push resin down inside your cup. You're going to get a little bit in there probably anyway. But the first one, I, I think first or second one I did, I didn't realize that. And I was pulling back as well as forward. And I had so much resin clean up at the end. So I just, nice long even strokes. And you could feel, like if you have an area where it kind of drags that. It means you don't have enough resin there. So right, right here, I don't have enough resin. So, and right there. So what we're, we're going to do is, right about now, there we go. Now, come up the bottom here around the bottom so I don't get that little bubble edge and then up it's a pretty Christmas tumbler I'm doing I'm going to a sale it's supposed to be a garage sale but I'm taking my craft stuff there See if I have any luck, and I'm going to take some of my tumblers. I'm hoping maybe I've got a couple other Christmas tumblers from last last winter. I'll take those as well. All right. Awesome. That's so cool. All right. So now, oh, where'd it go? Oh, let me get my torch here. I gotta fill it right quick. I gotta pop my bubbles. about that guys I forgot I needed to pop needed to fill my torch back up these awesome torches April sent me them she gave me a whole box of them they are phenomenal so now you run it over and you pop any bubbles because this resin is a thick resin I'll turn it up a little bit 
resin is a thick resin so it tends to have more bubbles than the thinner resin of course the resin I use is uh, tumblers coating epoxy by the epoxy resin store I used to try using regular resin and I got the worst fish eyes there was so uh, I know there's ways you can do it but you gotta let the resin thicken up some because I didn't and it was just pretty much running off as fast as I was putting it on so if you're really gonna get into the tumblers invest in some tumbler epoxy and that's it we're gonna let we're gonna let it run for a few hours uh, I'll probably let it run for an hour and then I'll probably put it in my resin curing machine for my tumblers I do have the tumbler carrying machine by Resineers, and I love it. It works so good. Uh, but I find that when it's already humid out, sometimes it makes it worse. Um, so yeah, that's that's it. I hope you guys come back to see the finale. I hope everyone enjoys this. I hope you guys go check out everybody in the playlist. Uh, I've noticed there's a couple people that already posted today. And I'm going to go check their stuff out. Again, thank you for Tracy at Mini Scenes. And we'll be back when this is done, and I'll show you the final result. Bye. Hey, guys. So we are back. So it is done. Got the lid on it. Straw in it. Our Winter Wishes tumbler. Sparkly. Glittery poinsettias. And then on the bottom... But I love it. I think it's so pretty. And this is my Christmas twenty, Christmas in July 2024 collaboration video. Like I said, guys, be sure and check out all of them in the list. Go watch all the videos. Give everybody some love. Uh, check out everything. I'm, I'm going to binge watch a bunch of them tomorrow. So that's my plan. <laughs> I hope everyone has a wonderful night. Hope your resin cure is beautiful. Your craft projects turn out amazing. I hope you're all happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. And I wish you all a happy holiday. <laughs> Have a great night. God, bye.